Hey everyone, my name is Seth. Um, I'm working with Group 1, and today we're going to talk about John Amos Comenius. Um, John Amos Comenius was a huge educational reformer in Europe, and he was also a religious leader. But um, first, I'll backtrack a little bit. He was born in what is today the Czech Republic on March 28, 1592, and he was brought up in the Protestant faith. Both of his parents were part of the Bohemian Brethren. And surprisingly, both of his parents passed away when John was only 10. So from there, he ended up having to go live with one of his aunts, and his aunt ended up sending him away to school. And the school he ended up going to was terrible. He didn't like it at all. The educational program and the teachings were very poor. Um, but after that, after he graduated, he ended up going to college. He went to the University of Heidelberg in 1613, and there he became very influenced by Protestant millennialists, and soon, or soon after that, he ended up becoming a Protestant minister. So soon after that time, the Thirteen-Year War was going on, and that was when the Catholic princes of Germany were trying to dominate over all of Christianity in Europe. And they ended up driving away all, all the Protestants out of Bohemia, which left John, ended up, he ended up going to um, Lesno, Poland. And that's where he began to plan how he can reform the educational system and how that was going to help rebuild society in Bohemia once the war was over. Um, during that time, he ended up writing books. One of his more popular ones was the Genua, and we're going to end up talking about that a little bit later and the strategies that he wrote about. But he taught his strategies of teaching there, and he joined another educational reformer, and that was Samuel Hartlib, and he wanted John Comenius to and to travel out to London, England, and help him, and I guess they discussed ideas, and they helped to reform educational systems there. Um, in London, he continued to write, he wrote essays, he met other influential figures, and discussed ideas for educational reform. Um, even after that, he was invited to go to Sweden, and they wanted him to come out to Sweden to help reform schools by way of writing textbooks based on his book, The Genua. Um, even after that, he continued traveling from country to country, and eventually he ended up staying in Amsterdam, where he eventually passed away. Um, but... To summarize everything a little bit, he was a huge educational reformer and the Protestant faith, and I guess even his uh, the way he was being raised without parents and having to go to that school, that eventually helped him to want to reform schools in Europe, and we're going to talk a little bit more about that right now.